Hi everyone, welcome back with Manhattan. In this video, I will be explaining how the AI context window works. It's an important concept for you to understand, especially if you are using AI coding assistant tool like Kilo Code to develop a fully functional app. Along the way, you'll also get a better idea of how AI models work and why they can fail when working on a large project. So as you step into the world of AI-assisted software development, you'll eventually come across terms like usage tokens and context window. And if you don't understand what they mean, it's easy to get confused about why your AI struggles with complex tasks or gets expensive fast. So let's look at a simple explanation. The first term is tokens. In the world of AI, tokens are just a way of measuring text. Think of them like little chunks or building blocks that make up your words and prompts. For example, a short word like I will be one token, and a longer word like identification will be split into two tokens. And we have some example of token calculations on the right side here. Short tags like hello, how are you today become six tokens, while a longer tag such as the prompt for a break breaker game right here is 19 tokens, and a simple console.log code becomes five tokens. So the more tags you feed the AI, whether it's words, code, or instructions, the more tokens it will use. Now let's see things in action. Here we have a Next.js project and Kilo code open in this VS Code window. This Next.js project is just a vanilla, newly generated Next.js app. If we try to run npm run dev here, well, we can see that there's nothing here but a demo page for now. Now let's send a prompt to Kilo code here. Just say, how are you? The model used here is Cloud Sonnet 4, uh, so let's go ahead and press enter. Let's wait a bit. Alright, here the AI sends a response, but what I want you to see is in the task windows up here. So if we open this window, we can see the details of this chat. There is the output tokens, marked by this down arrow icon, and then there is the input tokens, marked by this up arrow icon. Now the input token sent to Sonnet is actually 20k tokens and not just 5 or 10 tokens. How can this be? Well, it's because when we send the request, Kilo code sends not only the prompt, but also a bunch of additional information to the LLM. You can see this by opening the API request detail, which is locked by Kilo code here. Let me expand that a bit. And here, we can see the request on the top. And then if we scroll down, we can see lots of information as well, such as the current project directory, the files currently open, Kilo code system prompts, and many other information. So a huge amount of data actually gets sent when we interact with the AI model, not just the prompt we typed in the chat box. Now let's open a new chat session and send a new message to Kilo Code. I will just ask it to explain the project, uh, change the mode to ask here, and then press enter. This is what people do whenever we open up a new project these days. We usually just ask AI what's going on instead of digging through the documentation, well, if it even exists, or jumping around the code trying to decipher it out ourselves. Okay, so here Kilo Code replied that the project is a fresh Next.js application, which it is. Now open the task window again, and this time we can see that the input tokens sent to Sonnet are 57k tokens. In Kilo Code, the input token will arise whenever we send an API request. As we can see here, an API request is sent after the AI reads the package.json file, and then another after the readme file, and so on. Now that we know about input and output tokens, one more interesting point in this detail is the context window here. So the context window is like the AI's short-term memory. It's the limit of how much information the model can keep in mind at once. Everything you say, every word, sentence, or code block takes up space in this memory, and that space is measured in tokens. Again, different AI models come with different context window sizes. For example, the latest Gemini models support up to 1 million tokens, while Cloud and O3 models handle around 200k tokens, and DeepSeek R1 comes in at 164k tokens. Now, having a larger context window doesn't necessarily make the model better, it just means it can take in more information at once. In fact, for many models, performance can start to drop when the context window gets more than half or about 75% full. The rule of thumb is that once a model hits its context limit, it starts forgetting things from earlier in the conversation. 
Which is why in longer chats, you might notice that the AI starts to lose track of what you said before. It's likely just run out of space to remember the whole conversation. Now let's get back to VS Code window. Now before we get into the exciting part, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on the subscribe button down below, and please help me reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year, as it will mean a lot to me, making me feel more excited to create useful videos just like this one. Here, we can see that the context window is around 26k full. This context window will keep going up the more you interact with the AI. So let's say we ask for a follow-up in this conversation, Maybe we can create a landing page for an AI SaaS agency and then change the mode from as to code and send the prompt in. Now Kilo Code will process this request and while the process is running, you can see the context window here goes up little by little. Now let me skip a bit to when this task is finished and we will see how much context window is used. Okay, so the task is completed here, and you can see that I already filled more than half of Cloud Sonnet 4's context window. The bar here turned to red as a warning sign. Now if you want to see the result of the generation, here it is. There is something definitely wrong with the CSS, and I want to fix that next. But if we go back to VS Code here, we can see that the context window of Sonnet is about half full. We can still send another prompt here, or we can also start a new chat. Now if we start a new chat, the context window will be refreshed. For example, uh, let's just uh, create a new chat here, and then just say how are you, and then send the prompt, and let the process run for a while. Now you can see that the context window quickly rise to 24k tokens here. So the context window is refreshed, but the AI would lose context of all previous conversation. Now instead of starting a new chat, we can actually optimize the context window by condensing the chat session. In Kilo Code, you can click on this condense context symbol to optimize the context. Or you can also type slash small in the chat box. This command does the same thing as clicking the symbol, it's just two shortcuts to the same process. So let's press enter here. And now we can see how the AI wants to condense the context. Here, it lists the most important parts of the conversation, such as the project summary, key technical concepts, and what task has been completed. Once everything is ready, this condensed conversation button will show up, so let's just click on it. And now, let's wait a bit until the process is finished. Also, I want you to pay a close attention to this context window tokens. And boom! Here, you can see the context window tokens have been optimized. When the process is completed, the context window is now around 30k. This is the summary of the conversation so far. And if we compare it with the new chat session, that's about 6k tokens more than a fresh session. But I think that 6k context is definitely worth it, as this means the AI still have the past conversation in mind. With the context window optimized, we don't have to start a new chat and can just continue in this chat instead. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining my YouTube membership where you can use this channel's emojis, get early access to new videos, plus a lot more. Now, just one last thing I want you to remember, the context window is determined by the LLM model itself and not by Kilo Code. So if you switch to a different model, like Gemini 2.5 Pro, you'll notice that the context window size changes too. For example, if I start a new chat here and ask how are you using Gemini 2.5 Pro, you'll see the context window is now 1 million tokens instead of 200k. This is important because sometimes, when the AI's performance starts to drop or fall short of expectations, people assume it's Kilo Code's fault. But it's not. Kilo Code is already doing its best with whatever model it's using. But at the end of the day, no matter how good your AI coding tool is, if the context window of the AI model is already full, then the responses will start to decline. That's why you need to watch out for the context window. 
And now we have learned about tokens, context window, and how to optimize the context by using KiloCode's Condense Context feature. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, Code with Nathan is a channel dedicated to simplify complex tech topics so that you can master them easily. Make sure you subscribe if that's something you find interesting. Make sure you like this video, turn on the notification bell, all the good stuff as it helps this channel to grow. With that being said, thanks again for watching until the end. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in other videos. Bye-bye.